What's up guys, Yusuf Shah from TechDroids and I hope you guys are doing well, staying home and staying safe. Just a little quarantine content for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the Gamdius Hebe M1. It's a gaming headset from their M series, so it's in the affordable price segment. And I've been using it for a while now. It's not a new headset, it's been out for quite some time now. You can buy it offline as well as from some online retailers for under 3,000 rupees. It's a budget gaming headset, comes with some exciting features. I've been using it for a few weeks now and I have my thoughts on it. So in today's video, I'll let you guys know my full verdict on the Gamdius Hebe M1. So that being said, let's get started. All right, so talking about the design and build quality of this headset, it is different from your usual headsets where you have a single headband, a single frame that connects the two ear cups together and keeps the phone, you know, headphones structurally sound. Here it's kind of different. You have a metal frame that keeps the two ear cups together and it's for the structural integrity. Then you have a self-adjusting headband that is padded, so it's nice. And most of the headphone is made out of plastic, but it's good quality plastic, so there's no creaky and stuff like that. And it is pretty flexible, pretty rigid. The build quality is pretty nice in my opinion and the metal frame does help. And yes, you do have RGB on the headphone, and you can control it but the only control you have over it is on and off so you can't really change the colors or anything like that but i wasn't expecting that for this price either so it just you know does its rainbow you know colors so it changes through all the colors it has and keeps repeating that on its own and it's a nice addition in my opinion it gives the headphone a good look you have gamdius's branding here and if you notice the headphone is quite large and seems quite bulky that's because gamdius is using something called the oversized ear cup design where they use big size ear cups to you know just fit the whole ear, cover the whole ear and provide nice or noise cancellation as well as a good fit. And yeah, so that's that. And other than that, there is no other adjustment you get. There's no swivel or rotation or extending the headband or anything like that. The you know, self-adjusting headband itself should get in. And even if you have a large size basketball for a head, it should fit your head, no problem. And me and my friends had no issues with that. And talking about the ear cups, they're really big and they're well padded. There's a lot of padding. They feel like marshmallows to me. And again, it's really plush and comfortable in my opinion. Plus there is a layer of fabric over the drivers. So even if your you know, ears do touch the drivers, it won't be annoying or uncomfortable. Now, Talking about the technical specifications on this headset, it has 50 millimeter drivers, neodymium drivers, with a 30 millimeter vibration motor. So there is something called bass impact or you know vibration in this headphone where it vibrates to give you more immersion. It converts the low frequencies into vibrations. So the bass on this headset is really good. It's super bassy. And if you like a lot of bass, like ear thumping bass, this is the headphone to go for. The sound quality on this headphone is exceptionally good for the price. And this is one of the best headsets I've heard in this kind of price. So that's that. And you do get a controller, uh, which is pretty big, but again, it does a job for controlling everything. So you have volume control as well as mic, mute and unmute. So you can directly do that from here. No need to you know, fill around in the software. You have your RGB control, so on and off. And you have your bass impact feature, which you can turn on and off again. Now, there is no intensity control for the bass impact. So you can't change how intense the vibrations are. So that's kind of you know annoying in my opinion because after a while it kind of gets annoying where it's vibrating a lot. But depending from game to game, like in Battlefield 5, you might like the vibration, but let's say you're playing Counter-Strike or Control, you might not like the vibration. So you can just turn it off if you don't like it. It's a novelty feature in my opinion, but it does give off a good immersive feel. And this headphone is compatible with Gamdius's Hera software, which allows you to change things like the equalization on the headphone. And also you can fill around with the magic voice settings. And you can also turn on and customize the virtual 7.1 surround sound which is not great I've heard better but for the price it's all right and I won't complain and talking about the cord on this headset it's two meters in length and ends with a USB port which is gold plated that's nice USB 3.0 and it is braided and there's also a plastic casing on top makes the cable a little bulky but in terms of quality it's gonna last you really long it's really nice very rigid cord and I have no complaints like the build quality the cord itself is really nice in my opinion the connector is gold plated so you should have no latency issues no connection issues and you will have the best connection so that's that and talking about the sound quality itself it is super 
super bassy and I was able to make out where people were coming from. The stereo effect on this headset is pretty good. So you'll be able to make out the footsteps in games like Counter-Strike and Battlefield and PUBG and stuff like that. I played a bunch of games on it and used this for two weeks as my main gaming headset. So that's that. And yeah, I was able to make out the surround effects, like where the footsteps are coming from, where the gunshots are happening. So the sound quality itself is really nice and the volume is good. Even if you're listening to like bass music, you'll enjoy, you know, your experience on this headphone. All right, this is a microphone test of the Gamdius Hebe M1 and the mic is retractable, but you can push it in if you're not using it and it becomes like really tiny and you can hide it. And when you want to use it, just pull it out. And the sound quality itself is really nice for the price. It's super bassy and otherwise it's going via USB. So the quality itself is really nice and you shouldn't have problem talking to your teammates and just telling them where people are. And also if you're into streaming or doing some voiceovers, you know, creating some content that should also be fine. So in terms of microphone quality, it's a thumbs up from my side. All right, now let's talk about the most important thing about a headphone and that's the comfort. No matter how good it sounds, how many great features it has, if it's not comfortable, you're going to take it right off. Like you can put it on and if it's hurting your ears, you're gonna take it off. Now, what is the difference and you know, what is the problem with this kind of a design compared to a traditional headphone design? First of all, there is no swivel or rotation on these headphones, so the ear cups don't rotate. Whereas other gaming headsets do have this kind of feature where they rotate and swivel. So what happens is, with this self-adjusting headband, the headphones just go on straight. They don't have this curve. They are actually not able to take the you know, shape of your ears. So the pressure on the top of the ear cup and the middle of the ear cup is too high. And the bottom is just like, there's a gap. So it's not like this, it's just going in, you know, straight forward. So that's the issue. And what happens is the clamping force is so hard and so high that your you know, pressure points are gonna be these and it's gonna hurt on those pressure points. And after like 15 to 20 minutes or 30 minutes of listening, you will feel that your ears have you know, some fatigue, there's some pain and there's some ear sweat because this is PU leather, so protein leather, again, plasticky. So it does make your ears a little spicy. And in my opinion, after a while, this will retract, this headband will retract as you keep using it as your you know, main headset it will just retract just like any other you know metal band but again i think it'll take a long time for you to get used to it and the comfort is just not there in my opinion so again i think gamdias can improve in the future maybe you know switch over to something like this a standard design for your headphones and you know maybe move away from something like that so that's that now i understand why gamdias is going with this kind of design for their you know oversized ear cup design you do need this kind of a metal frame to you know maintain the structural integrity but it is just not you know comfortable in my opinion and that's that and i feel this comfort issue is subjective to me to my head size but i have given this headphone to my friends and they do have a similar opinion and i've also checked out other reviews on youtube they also have have the kind of in you know, a similar opinion where this headphone is not very comfortable and it does have a high clamping force and it does push on your ears really hard so there is some ear fatigue after some time otherwise the sound quality is good the microphone is nice the rgb feature is good the cord is amazing quality you also have that bass impact feature that does add you know immersion to your gaming and makes it a whole more lively and the controller is appreciated all the controls are nicely laid out and they are backlit so you can find out if they're on or off Everything else about this headphone is so nice and so perfect, but the comfort is just not there. And if it's not comfortable, I really can't recommend it. But if you are, you know, again, it's gonna be subjective. If you do have, you know, experience with these kind of headphones and if you feel, yes, they do fit you well, you can definitely go ahead and buy it. I do recommend it. If you have tried this headphone in the past, and if you've tried headphones like this in the past, which have this kind of self-adjusting headband, you can go ahead and buy it. But for me personally, it wasn't comfortable. So yeah, that's my opinion on it. Other than that, the pricing is nice and the value for money aspect is really there. The sound quality on this headphone is really nice. So for gaming and listening to music, this does a really good job. That's about it for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then go ahead and smash like button. Also, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you, you know, want to see more videos like this. And if you have tried such headsets, what is your opinion on the Gamdias Hebe M1? What gaming headset are you using currently? And I'll be there replying to you guys if you have any questions, if you have any queries. Follow me on my social medias on Instagram and Twitter. It's at TechDroids. And also go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay home, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.